Rumors has it that the M4 Extreme is coming despite Apple not releasing the M3 Ultra. Yes guys, from all the articles from credible sources, it seems that will be the case that the M4 Extreme will be coming in 2025. But before we get deeper into all of that, let me explain to you guys the Surface story so that we can understand the context as to what is happening with Apple. So let us first start with Apple skipping the M3 Ultra. If you are following Apple very closely, you will see that Apple launched the M1 Ultra and then they launched the M2 Ultra with the M2 Ultra Mac Pro. Rumors has it, and I think it has already been confirmed, that this year M3 will not have the Ultra version. And there are many reasons as to why that is the case. The reception on those Ultra chips are not the best because Apple was not able to harness the full potential that the M1 Ultra or the M2 Ultra would be able to acquire from having two M1 Max or two M2 Max fusing together and creating the Ultra chip. And as a result, the M1 Ultra as well as the M2 Ultra are machines that are not worth the money to buy because it is very expensive and it could not harness the power of both M1 Max together or M2 Max together to double the power. And that is why you see the situation coming out with the M2 Ultra being released and then being outperformed in many areas by the M3 Max that just came out about six months later. And because of that fact with poor sale, poor efficiency and people not buying the Ultra machine that much, for the M3 series of M3 Max, people noticed that there were no die or integrated circuit with the M3 Mac, which suggests that Apple didn't plan for an M3 Ultra. So yeah, on our storyline, we have an inefficient Ultra Fusion technology, which led to the M1 Ultra and M2 Ultra chip not reaching its fullest potential. And that led to Apple theoretically ditching the M3 Ultra. And that is when we arrive at our current timeline, where we have Apple's naming different chipsets and the names are as follows. We have Donan, a code name for the base M4 chip. Brav, a code name for the high-end Mac chip. And we have Hydra, a code name to be the super high-end Mac chip, believed to be the M4 Extreme chip for the Mac Pro. And from the credible sources we have currently, Apple plans to have the M4 chips in the iMac and the lower-end MacBook Pro by the end of 2024. However, it is not confirmed yet that the M4 Pro and the M4 Max will be in the MacBook Pro by the end of 2024. And that is due to the fact that if Apple were to release everything at once, the sales might plummet just like how it does with uh, the Air dragging the sale of other Macs. So Apple want to be more strategic as to how they want to launch their MacBook Pro. So a lot of articles are saying that we as the consumer should expect Apple to change the way they release products. And according to Mark Gurman, the M4 Pro and the M4 Max will be released sometime between the end of 2024 and early 2025. And from the spring to the end of 2025, Apple will complete moving the whole lineup of Mac to M4 and these include the new 13-inch and 15-inch MacBook Air model, the Mac Studio with high-end M4 and the Mac Pro with the M4 Ultra. And many articles are saying that the Mac Pro will be either with the M4 Ultra or will be with the M4 Extreme. And that's what makes it super exciting about the future of Macs. And even if you're not buying it, just seeing the levels and the power in a machine, which hopefully is under 10 grand, that is insane. And a lot of people are very excited about the future of Macs and the M series chip in general. Another interesting point in Apple roadmap is that it is the first time that no Mac will be left out in the update because with the M4, according to rumors from credible sources, all Macs from the MacBook Air, the MacBook Pro, the Studio, the Mac Pro, they will all have an M4 chips inside of it. So yeah guys, that is the whole storyline of how the M4 Extreme will most likely come to be in reality in the, the Mac Pro, hopefully, by the end of 2025. So we have Apple sort of releasing products that are not fully developed and fully harnessed in terms of potential like the M1 Ultra and the M2 Ultra. Because of that, Apple see sales being low on those Ultra machines. And that is why with the M3 Max, there were no die, no circuit to integrate with another M3 Max, thus leading to the theory that there will not be an M3 Ultra, but instead there will be an M4 Extreme or a better version of the M4 Ultra. And that is our current point of the Apple roadmap. 
So hopefully you guys understand the entire situation because by understanding that it will help us the consumer make better decision on whether to wait for something, whether to buy something or whether to be perfect or content with what we already have. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to drop a like or subscribe. That would really make my day. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks, goodbye and peace.